this Excel on Mac video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic Gantt chart. So a Gantt chart basically just visually identifies your task and when they end, when they start and end, and when the next task start and ends. It gives you kind of a visual identifier for it. Use very much in project management. And if you didn't have a project management software package, you can probably use Excel to create a basic Gantt chart. And this is how you do it. Let's delete this one first. And I've got my data set up where I have a start date, a duration, and an end date. So in my start dates, my first start date's got the initial start date of task one, the duration, and then this end date is just the start date plus the duration in days. That plus three is four, right? And the next one in line just takes the start date from the last end date, adds a duration for that end date there. So in this particular Gantt chart, it's going to be a stacked bar chart. Go to insert. We're going to choose the stack bar chart. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And we're going to put some data in there. So I go in and select data. And my data, my chart data range is going to be from the description to the duration. I'm not going to include this end date because it's going to mess things up. Excel's trying to figure out what series we are putting in our chart. You can see they've got the duration, which is C1 and C2 to C11. That's right, but they got the labels wrong. Whoops, let me move this all. It kind of had that tool tip there. It got the labels wrong. Sheet 1, A2 to B11. We don't want the labels to be this whole thing. The label is just going to be A2 to A11. So just put the A there. And also the duration is not the only thing I need there. I also need the start date. So click that plus sign, the name, select start date. And for my Y value, delete that, select my start date. And I don't really need to fill out these areas. Click OK. And you notice it doesn't really look right. Let's go back into the select data. And what the thing, what we need to do is make that start date come first. So select that and click on the up arrow, click OK. And now we have the beginnings of our Gantt chart. We need to move the task where task one shows up at the top. So this one would come first. We click on the label access area, go to format, and let's bring up our format pane. And for our access options, let me make sure I'm still over there. We want to have our categories in reverse order. So check that box and we've got our categories in reverse order, task one to task 10. Now I want to move that over here. You can see that Excel has looked at those dates and given these funny numbers. These funny numbers are actually the serial number formats of the dates. That's how Excel makes calculations. I want to change that to a readable date. So you have your month slash day slash year. And we can do that by having that access options. We have, we're still in our format access. We go down to the number here and we're going to have it as a date. Also, one thing that we need to consider now, it's changing. One thing we need to consider is Excel kind of guessed where the minimum bound is. That date, 11117, is that serial number 43040. I wanted to start at 1118. So we can just change that. We don't need to figure out what the serial number for that one is. You can just type 1 slash 1 slash 18, press tab, and we see we've started there. We just need to get rid of these orange lines. These are the duration. We don't need those anymore. Click there, and we're not going to get rid of them. We're, cons we're just going to hide them. Click the bucket, no fill, and we don't also want a border, so it's click no line. And you can see, if I click here, it's gone. Let's get rid of these horizontal lines too. I mean the uh, grid lines. So if those are selected, press delete and they're gone. Let's add a label here. Select on that. We can right click or you can double tap and add data labels. And once you add data labels, you can click on them. And now we have our data labels option available. We want to select text options and go under the text box. No, I think actually it's probably label options. Let me go back to label options. Yes, the label contains, we want to have the category name. 
so it's going to say task 1 to task 10 and remove the values. These are also hard to see so let's make them a different color. Go to text options now and for the text fill not black let's make that white. White will show up better on the blue background there. Close this for now and see how it looks. So I've got my Gantt chart here. We've got our dates 118, 1118 to 4118. We have it down here. Kind of fits that right. And let's say, for example, I wanted to change some of my start dates. I, some of them did not occur after the end date. Maybe they started at the same time. I can change that. 1 slash 20 slash 18. Press enter. You can see now that's changed. Maybe I want to change another one. Maybe task 9. Let's make this 2 slash 14 slash 18 press enter and now my Gantt chart has changed so it kind of gives you a visual cue of when the tasks start and when they end and which ones kind of overlap and that's your basic Gantt chart on Excels for Mac. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.